Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome to some EVE Online. Now, as you can see, we did a quick um, day trip into a wormhole yesterday. Uh, I did record it, but uh, it was actually pretty hectic on Skype. Uh, the reason for that is that another one of our real life friends is actually trying EVE Online. Uh, so we had to uh, try and guide a few people as well while uh, we were playing around in a wormhole but uh, since I do have this footage it's a great opportunity to make a wormholes 101 episode and uh, the idea here is going to be for me to give some of uh, some tips and uh, and maybe some uh, some important information that could help newer players uh, decide whether or not they want to go into wormhole space or when uh, they can feel ready to handle something like wormhole space. So uh, first of all, wormhole space is probably amongst the most dangerous space uh, in EVE Online. A major factor is that uh, local doesn't work the same way it does in the rest of EVE Online. Unless someone starts to chat in local, you won't actually uh, see them in the, uh, in the sidebar. So you never know who is inside the wormhole with you, keeping an eye on you, waiting for the right opportunity to strike. Uh, it's of course also um, basically no sex space in the sense that uh, there is no police or anyone out there to help you. Uh, you can attack and destroy other players in full impunity. So uh, yeah, you can anchor bubbles. Uh, anything goes really in wormhole space. And so it is actually a very risky uh, place to, uh, to play some EVE Online. Uh, but that is of course all a part of the fun as well. So I think there are... There is basically one important philosophy uh, which you have to try and maintain throughout all your EVE Online time is that uh, never fly what you can't afford to lose and I'd say especially when uh, you start out in a wormhole assume that you will lose your ship and that you will get potted. Uh, if, if you can uh, have this philosophy about the ship you're flying then it's okay to go into wormhole space uh, but uh, you should not uh, do it if you don't feel like it would be okay for you to completely lose your ship uh, and everything you, you put into the wormhole. Um, after that, always, always take a probe scanner with you. Uh, you never really know when the wormhole is going to close uh, behind you. And uh, if you don't have the ability to scan for another one, uh, yeah, you could really be stuck uh, inside a wormhole and almost the only option you have then uh, is to uh, to eat a bullet and then uh, to resurrect in one of your uh, clones. So yeah, probe scan uh, is very important and always have the scanner and the probes handy uh, if you go into wormhole space. Um, and finally, I would say if, if you plan to go alone, um, at what point do I feel that it's okay for a, for a player to, to go alone into a C1 or a C2 wormhole? Uh, I would say at least be able to fly a battle cruiser with tech 2 fittings. Uh, this is when you're alone because uh, uh, the sleepers they do hit hard and they take a decent amount of DPS to burn down and uh, you really want something that's stable and able to handle the site without too much worry. Um, if you can do it with a small group the way we are doing it here, so it's my brother in a Harbinger and Arvales in a Drake as well. Uh, then you could probably get away with a battle cruiser with uh, Meta 4 Tech 1 fittings. Uh, that just, uh, you know, it can really speed up the time before you can take someone in the wormhole. Uh, if, if you're with three or four guys, uh, it's definitely going to cut on the amount of time you need to finish a site and uh, on the amount of DPS that anyone will have to, uh, to be able to tank because they do switch very often. But yeah, a battle cruiser with Take Two fittings is, I think, a benchmark that you should put for yourself before you uh, come and try to do some sleeper sites in wormhole space. Uh, another tip, of course, you can see uh, me do it very regularly, is to keep a very close eye on D scan um, because, as I've said, local doesn't really help you uh, to inform you who else might be in the wormhole. And uh, you really have to wait for someone to make a mistake or drop out of cloak or enter the wormhole. Uh, and then uh, just make a little bit of a mistake and be visible on the D-scan. It's really your only warning uh, if someone else is there and uh, trying to destroy you. So yeah, keep a very close eye on the D-scan if you go into wormhole space. Um, also, don't forget salvagers, uh, either salvage drones or a salvager, because uh, that's where the real loot is, of course, the sleeper drones. Uh, themselves they just drop some generic loot that's not worth very much 
uh, but they have a chance of dropping melted nano ribbons which are worth something like four to five million isk a piece and uh, that is of course really what you're there for if you are here for pve content and uh, trying to make some money uh, other than that yeah i think it's definitely something you want to do in in a group uh, that's how we enjoy it the most uh, because uh, you're not completely helpless if two or three uh, tick three cruisers drop on you all of a sudden uh, you might actually still have a chance to escape with some ECM drones or something like that so we try and do this in a, in a group setting as much as possible um, and the uh, mobile tractor unit uh, you might be able to see it on the overview there uh, is also extremely handy for this uh, because sleepers do tend to spawn all over the place they're extremely fast and having a tractor unit that will actually group all of the rigs uh, close uh, is going to speed up your time in the sites uh, by quite a lot and uh, that is definitely something you want to keep in mind as well the less time you actually spend here doing the site the, the lower the chance that someone else finds you and is able to set up a trap but other than that wormhole space is a lot of fun uh, it is the most risky part uh, of EVE Online to, uh, to spend some time in, in wormhole space in my opinion uh, but we definitely do enjoy it quite a lot, although you should not expect to be able to uh, come in here and be all that useful uh, from like the first week or anything like that. Uh, once again, I would say a battle cruiser with tick two fittings is really what you want for one of these uh, sleeper sites at least. So yeah, there you go guys, a uh, quick site that's also ending uh, right here. As you can see with three battle cruisers, it's just a C1 wor wormhole, it's no problem at all uh, but this is this is a lot of fun and definitely something that helps with the uh, cohesion of the group or the corporation if you do it the way we are doing it so that's it guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time